welcome. I'm the Guardian's natural history writer. I'm a journalist and I'm an author. I've written a book about butterflies and now I've written a book about badgers. The book that I've been shortlisted for by the Wainwright Prize is Badgerlands, the twilight world of Britain's most enigmatic animal. And it's really a history of humans and badgers, I guess, with my personal story woven into that. I had a grandma who was obsessed with badgers and I felt she would be very distressed by the badger cull that's currently unfolding in England. So a couple of years ago I set out to see badgers myself and meet the people who love them and the people who hate them and, and it's a story of my journey around Britain doing that. I'm, I'm so excited that there's a new prize called Wainwright's Prize that's for nature and travel writing which are my favourite books and my favourite topics and, and obviously it's a tremendous honour to be just shortlisted and nominated but um, I'm also a fan of all the other books on the list so um, some of which I haven't actually read yet so I'm looking forward to reading them and, and exploring more but it's lovely to have a prize that celebrates wild Britain in this way. My um, grandma who I wrote about in the Badger book actually lived in the Lake District so I spent quite a lot of my childhood up in the lakes on some holidays and my mum and dad were both very keen walkers so I'd go out with them and we did have, we've got a couple of battered copies of the Wainwright Guides and they were always on my grandma's shelf and I remember that because it's lovely colour codes and they're lovely little hardbacks and I remember looking at the drawings when I was quite a young boy so I do feel, I'm not a northerner but I do feel I've grown up with Wainwright to a, to a certain extent.